This is a very short video on anti-obesity medications or pharmacological agents that reduce weight or help control weight. Drugs that make you lose weight, essentially. And before we get into this list of drugs and combo drugs that we have on the left here, it's important to note that these drugs do not work on their own and they do require lifestyle modifications and diet changes to be effective. These drugs and clinical trials have not been tested on their own without diet and lifestyle modifications. So it's important to, to know that these drugs are not magical pills that will help you lose weight. They're really uh, for use in conjunction with lifestyle modifications. So let's begin with Phentermine. Phentermine is a drug that was approved for weight loss by the FDA in 1959. The mechanism of action for Phentermine is that it releases norepinephrine. Phentermine is especially good for short-term use, which is about three to six months, in contrast with the other drugs that we're going to be talking about, which are all good for long-term use. This has not been approved for long-term use like the other drugs. Phentermine is only for short-term use. Benefit of Phentermine is that it's cheap, and that's about it. Orlistat is the next drug we're going to talk about. Orlistat was approved by the FDA in 1999. The mechanism here is that it inhibits lipase. Now, lipase is an enzyme that breaks down fat and fatty molecules that you ingest. And uh, Orlistat is, inhibits lipase that is both released from the pancreas and gastric lipase. So it, it inhibits both sources of lipase. So if you can't break down fat, you're going to decrease the amount of fat that you absorb too, which is the mechanism by which it makes you lose weight. Some side effects of not breaking down and absorbing fat is that you get GI disturbances. It can cause cramps. It can cause fecal incontinence. You can get diarrhea, specifically steatorrhea, which is an oily, greasy, fatty stool that tends to float. You uh, also sometimes become deficient in fat-soluble vitamins, which are the vitamins D, vitamin E, vitamin A, and vitamin K, and the DEEK vitamins. Um, so patients that might take Orlistat, you might want to instruct them to take multivitamins with that so that they don't become deficient in those vitamins. This is good for patients that are at risk for uh, coronary artery disease or coronary vascular disease um, because increased fat content in the blood can cause vessel problems, can cause clots in the arteries. And this is also available over the counter, so that's Orlistat. Next, we're going to talk about a combo drug, phentermine and topiramate. We already talked about phentermine. It, uh, as we said, the mechanism was to secrete norepinephrine. So let's add uh, the topiramate. Topiramate's mechanism is that it blocks sodium channels, and it also modulates GABA receptors to increase the action of GABA. So this combo drug was approved in 2010, and it combines phentermine and topiramate. Topiramate is also used uh, for seizures, simple complex and tonic-clonic seizures, as well as to prevent migraines. So some side effects that you might get from using these drugs are pretty much the side effects of both of the drugs individually, um, although both drugs are given at lower doses. So hopefully that would mediate the side effects. So you might get mental sedation. You can also get kidney stones from using this combo drug. Next is lorcaserin. This drug was approved in 2012. Lorcaserin's mechanism is that it agonizes a serotonin receptor, specifically the 5-HT2C receptor. This is lorcaserin. Side effects are dizziness, dry mouth, GI disturbances, specifically nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, fatigue, and headaches. Next is bupropion and naltrexone. This is a combo drug that was approved for weight loss in 2014. Bupropion's mechanism is to increase norepinephrine and dopamine levels, and naltrexone's mechanism is that it's an opioid antagonist, the same receptor that uh, morphine and some other <coughs> painkillers might activate, is antagonized by naltrexone. Some side effects here are that they can cause anxiety and headaches, and this combo is particularly good for patients who are also struggling with smoking cessation because bupropion is an antidepressant that's specifically approved for smoking cessation. So if somebody's struggling to quit smoking and they're afraid of the weight gain, they're already obese, they're afraid of the weight gain, sometimes associated with people who quit smoking, you can try this combo on them to help stop the smoking and to uh, prevent further weight gain and hopefully promote weight loss. Liraglutide is the last one, approved most recently in 2015 for weight loss. Mechanism here is that it agonizes the GLP-1 receptor. So it's essentially a GLP-1 
analog. And that, if you remember, is an incretin that uh, has a variety of effects on the human body. It's an endogenous molecule that is, is released by the gut. This is administered by a subcutaneous injection. This is liraglutide. And because it's subcutaneous, it might be less attractive than the other weight loss drugs on this list. Side effects of liraglutide are pancreatitis, nausea, and vomiting. This has been a short video on anti-obesity medications. I hope it was helpful, and thank you for listening.